everybody, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my review of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. This is book four in the Harry Potter series. Obviously, if you've been following me for a while now, you would know I reread the entire Harry Potter series in the months of July and August in preparation for the release of The Cursed Child, which was released at the end of July. Now, I have still not read The Cursed Child, to be honest. I haven't read it yet, but I, I've been lending it out to a neighbor, so I haven't gotten a chance, but I am really excited to read it finally. Um, when I get around to it. So this is book four in the Harry Potter series, like I said, and I really enjoyed it. I gave it a five out of five stars. I thought it was fantastic to reread for the fifth time. <laughs> I know it's been five times, but I still enjoy it every single time. Um, so yes, I thought the aspect of the Triwizard Tournament was a fantastic element to the story. I think it also, everything that went on in this book, I think it affected the story going forward. But I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, yeah, the Triwizard Tournament was fantastic. I love the aspect of getting to meet these characters, Flora and Crom and Cedric. I think they were really cool characters to learn about in this book. Um, also the character development in this book was fantastic. I, I liked Harry a lot more in this book than I had in the other three um, before it. I thought it was really good. The first task of the Triwizard Tournament was very, very cool, the dragons. That was probably one of my favorite scenes in the entire book was the dragon scenes. Um, you know, getting, having the, uh, four competitors getting the golden egg from a dragon, it's very cool. And of course, the golden egg holds the clue to the second task. And I thought that was really cool. Um, and then the second task was very creepy in some aspects, but it was also really cool to picture it in your mind and also watch it in the film adaptation. Um, so, I, even though it creeped me out, I really did enjoy it. It also held one held one of my favorite scenes the entire book or movie, and that is when Harry is in the prefect's bathroom, and more, of course Morning Wart Myrtle is there, um, and he has to go underwater and read the clue that way, and I thought it was really, really cool to get to see that happen. Um, also, second task as well, um, where Harry's friends and... Um, Everybody is important to the other competitors are captured by the mermaids and they are brought underwear and they have to go and rescue them. I thought that was really cool to see as well. Um, thought it was fantastic. And then the third task with the maze. I thought that was super intense but led to one of my favorite scenes in the entire series. Um, with the first face to face confrontation battle with Harry and Voldemort. I thought that was fantastic. You know, gained Leading up to the battle, we are, you know, you have to rest, get the cup, and then it is a fort key that leads you to where Voldemort is, or that was the case for Harry and Cedric. And then Cedric is killed by Voldemort, um, and that really didn't affect me as much as it had in the past, but um, I had, think I had gotten used to it since I had reread the series so many times. Um, but the battle, again, really intense, kept me on the edge of my seat so many times, really loved it. Um, and yeah, so I really enjoyed rereading this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, like I said earlier. Uh, I think all the scenes that happen in this book are going to affect the I thought they affected the series as it went along, especially in the fifth book, um, at the beginning of the fifth book with Harry. They, you know, said respect death really affected him, and you can uh, see it in his development as a character in the f uh, fifth book as well. So, like I said, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Highly recommend the series if you get, for you guys if you haven't already read it. And, yeah, so that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I'll have all my social media links linked in the description box below as well. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. And I also have my website and my uh, book depository page down below if you guys want to check those out. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for another video. I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!